You guys must have paid attention to the fact that Putin announced very recently that now he has a cruise missile that is nuclear powered. Now you have to understand, long ago, as in like in 1950s, everybody had nuclear fever and USSR and America was trying to put a nuclear reactors on flying things, including planes. Now here's deal, miniaturizing a nuclear reactor is child's play, any Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. Question is, how the heck you shield it? Answer, you can't. Because again, alpha, beta, gamma is super easy to shield against compared to neutron. Neutron just goes through matter like it does not even exist. So we do it in basically a nuclear submarine by having tons to hundreds of ton of shielding. And then you have uh, basically aircraft carrier, same logic. Basically, as long as you have enough shielding material, you could survive. Now, when you are comparing it to aircraft, aircraft will not take off the ground if you actually make it that heavy. Second, uh, cruise missiles, same thing. The reactor uh, can be there, it can work, it can provide the energy, but it will be so thin in terms of shielding, it will glow. Like, and be mindful, we live in the modern age, aka space age, as in, there is every single satellite. Uh, what does that mean? That simply means if you have a reactor that is that thin, as in like a cruise missile thin kind of reactor, yeah, it will glow. Like it will glow and you do not need noise cancellation to see it. It will glow. Like look at me, I am here. That's how easy it would be to detect. And not to mention because of the thinness of the uh, basically heat exchanger, it also leaks uh, basically daughter products of nuclear fission, which again glows. So it is the most obvious thing that we have that you can easily see. Like it will scream, I'm coming out, and everything will uh, basically target it instantaneously. Why? Because you have to make sure that you boom it in the opponent's country before it reaches yours simply because it's a dirty boomer device. It does not matter whether it has conventional or not, it is a dirty boomer. Meaning they will launch fighter jets and fighters uh, pilots will willingly boom themselves just to make sure that this puppy does not reach their land. That's how ugly this was. That's why America cancelled this project. Putin also tried this in 2018 and actually fried few people. And then they're like, yeah, we have nothing else to do now. So let's restart this project. So let that be very clear. It sounds amazing that you have a, a compressor that compresses the air. Air goes to 300 degrees Celsius. Then you dump it into reactor. Reactor heat it to 700 degrees Celsius, then you get exhaust thrust, turns a turbine and cycle repeats itself and you launch it using a solid booster. It's not that useful. It's a big flashy thing, but be mindful, you can't use it conventionally because the reactor itself makes it a dirty boom device. Wherever it falls, wherever it drops, it is a dirty boom device. So it's non-conventional by design. So it is 100% useless in modern systems, uh, unless you want to start World War III.